In this video, we're going to talk about how expensive is Japan. So when you guys go to Japan, you'll find out quickly if you're from, say, the United States of America, that one dollar gets you a lot more yen. So one US dollar would get you about 108 yen. So this right here is a piece of a thousand yen. It's like a equivalent to about $10 in the US depending when you go. But right now, this actually, you can get one of these for $9.24. So after currency exchange, you probably get it for about 10, um, depending on the fees and whatnot. But for a for thousand yen, what can you buy? Well, for about, I would say, 30,000 yen, so for about 10 US dollars, you can get a hostel, like a nice clean hostel. You might be able to get one for 20, 25 dollars, but you can get a hotel for 4,000 to 10,000 yen, so 40, 200 dollars. You could get a meal, uh, like get a bowl of ramen for probably 900 yen. You could probably get a meal, like a small meal at a fast food joint for 500 to 700 yen, so five to seven dollars. You could go, um, you could go see the sky tree. I feel like that's about 26 dollars. I might be wrong, so that's probably around 2,000 yen to 3,000 yen. Um, a beer will run you anywhere from probably 200 to 500 yen, and a mixed drink might run you maybe 400 to 700, 800. I know it really just depends on you know what you're trying to do, where you're going, you know public transportation. You should be able to get most anywhere um, in a city, say like Tokyo, for under 400 yen, maybe maybe 600, depending if you're going on um, different trains, different buses cost different amounts. But it is a little bit more expensive to take, say the bullet train. I think it's because of convenience and it's just it maybe takes a lot of energy to utilize. But to take the bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto, that'll cost you around 14,000 yen. So about 120, 240 dollars to take the bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto, when you can drive for about probably 4,000 yen or whatnot. Um, but overall, like Japan is not too crazy expensive, but it's definitely not cheap. If you go in you know very busy season like during maybe the cherry blossom festivals or in the summer uh, it might be a little bit more expensive for hotels and whatnot but everything else should run about the same amount um the let's see if you go if you go to japan you'll find out that um you know compared to the usa compared to um compared to eastern or western europe it's pretty similar in pricing um, it's definitely not a cheaper country to go to when you're going to Asia, Japan, Korea, and kind of China, but definitely Japan and Korea are not the cheapest countries to go to. But most of Southeast Asia is super cheap to visit, but Japan is probably um, equivalent to you know the United States of America, like a major city like Chicago and whatnot. Um, so that's Japan for you. Not crazy expensive, not super cheap, but you definitely have to check it out. So this has been NST Never Stop Traveling. If you like this video, um, just give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and if you want to put a comment in the comment box because you want to recommend me making a video about Japan on a certain topic, I'm actually going to be making a bunch of more videos, probably about six to ten more videos on Japan, and then I'm going to move to other countries and whatnot, places I've been and whatnot. But if there's anything you guys want to hear, anything you guys want me to talk about, just let me know. Uh, I'm just trying to make a bunch of videos before I go, I start traveling, and I'm gonna be doing a ton of recording and making a ton of really cool travel vlog videos. If you wanna see those, hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be a ton of cool content coming out this year. I'd say at least 50 to 150 videos. I'm gonna to try to be consistent and post three videos a week when I'm traveling, but for the next three months or so, I'll definitely have about three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Anyway, this has been NST, never stop traveling. Peace out, guys.